Welcome back to the Manor Entropians. Julian McBain here, and we are back with the Modern Entropian. And tonight, what I'm going to be discussing is kind of like uh, an Entropinomics uh, 102. We did a 101 class the last time, and now we're kind of into the 102. Because what we're going to be discussing is the concept of time is money. And I know it was that phrase was really made more famous by the goblins in World of Warcraft because they say it all the time, time is money, friend. But it's it's best displayed here in Entropia Universe. And you might be wondering how, and that's a great question. Well, here's the thing. Entropia Universe can be done free to play. It absolutely can. It's not easy to be free to play. It's not fast to be free to play. But if you don't want to put money in, if you don't want a depot, you can absolutely do things for free. And there are a couple of things you can do. The, the most common free to play thing you can do is sweat. You can see a person over here sweating the Panleon and they take that sweat and they sell it. And that's how they get their pet in order to play. Or they might be using that pet to buy deeds or shares that they can then get passive income that they can then use to play. Which, honestly, out of all of them, is probably a smart way to do things. Here's the downside to sweating. And, in fact, after I'm done with this panel, on, I will make sure that I'm equipped with the sweat tool, which I don't think I've had equipped for a long time. So where's my VSC1? Pull out my trusty VSC1. And then we are going to sweat the mob. As you can see, I got bottles of sweat with the first sweat attempt which is actually kind of unusual and I got one bottle sweat sells in groups of 1000 and the price for that sweat is oftentimes between 85 peck and one and a half ped depending on the current market now it's going up right now and that's because of um there being more of a market for it due to ancient Greece, which is good for sweaters. And for people on ancient Greece, especially because now they have a sweat market, they can do the free to play thing. But it also means that sweaters on Calypso, where the largest group of sweaters obviously are, can now risk transporting that sweat across the vastness of space. And they can hitch a ride like on the Normandy or pay a taxi to go back and forth. I know that there's a lot of, um, not a lot, but there are people who have a, an Equus. A quad wing Equus, which has a warp drive to pop back and forth in the safe zones, which makes it much more viable to have inter uh, interplanetary commerce, which I think was an important addition that they put in recently. But this is something you can do for free. The VSC1 gets no decay ever. I have leveled up to 10 in sweat. That's a lot of sweating, but that's a lot of hours. That is a lot of hours. It has no TT value whatsoever. This is probably the only item in the game that has absolutely no intrinsic value. And that's a smart move on Mindark's part. It really is. Oh, looks like uh, Burn accidentally caught some aggro there. Sorry, Burn. Um, because then you're not going to be tempted to sell the sweater that you can't replace. Why is... Is Burn sweating? I can't tell. There's definitely some lag here. I don't know what's going on. I don't know why she keeps catching aggro. I don't know if there's a proximity reason for catching aggro with these things. But as you can see, this is this is what's taking time, right? Well, I'm replacing money paid in with time sweating mobs. 
see how that works. I'm not spending any money. I'm not catching any decay. I'm not causing myself to need any repair bill, but it's taking me time. Now, because of my level, I'm doing pretty good on the sweat. I've already got 31 bottles. We've been doing this under five minutes. When you start out, it takes a lot longer and you're gonna get hit more because you got lower evade. Now, this is a great way to train evade. Hands down, this is, this is a great way to train evade is the solo sweat. Um, but at the same time, you're, you're trading time and, um, Um, sorry, got distracted by the chat, but the, um, the time that you trade keeps Entropia free for the people who do this. Now, let's keep a couple things in mind. Number one. Um, the amount of money that you make off of sweating mobs and other free-to-play things is less than minimum wage in any jurisdiction that I'm aware of. It is, hands down. You will spend hours sweating for one ped. And I, I think that current, at level 10, I think my average is about a thousand bottles every hour to hour and a half, which is not very much. That's one ped, it's about one ped worth of bottles. That isn't a lot. You, you'd make money faster getting a minimum wage job and then depoting the money into Entropy Universe. Now, you wouldn't get the skill ups, but there is that. So keep in mind, any of the free-to-play stuff here, you're trading time and it's a slow process. I'm not saying it's not worth it, just be aware. And don't get upset, because, you know, sometimes that's a thing. So, okay, we've got the the sweating. What, what other free-to-play things, what other things can you do to trade your time for money, as opposed to burning money? So the next thing you can do is you can fruit walk which is literally just walking around looking for fruit that's laying on the ground or dung, right? That's on every planet, you can find them. I don't think I've got any fruit here to show, but I've got some in my, in my storage. Fruit walking's legit. I usually find fruit and dung as I'm hunting and I just add it to the, the, the loot for the time. But again, fruit is one of those things where it takes a lot of it to add up to anything. Although fruit goes for more. It's like eight ped per thousand, right? But that's because it's so much sparser and it's random. It's what you can just concentrated harvest. Even though it takes a long time, you know for a fact that if you successfully harvest sweat, you're getting a bottle of vibrant sweat. There's no alternative to that. By comparison, you don't know if you're going to run into... Um, uh, papillon, papillons, which are kind of like tomatoes or uh, barbillos, I think they're called. They're like a watermelon-ish thing or dung. So it's a lot more random, which means it's going to take you a lot longer to get where you want to go. What other things can you do for free? You can run a small business. And actually, that's not entirely true because there's always some sort of an outlay for this. So we should probably go into that in some other way. But what's the point of all this? It goes back to a very important part of economics. And I talk about it a lot in my um, 
McBean Moments series that I did. But it's this thing called the Pareto Principle. Or actually, no, I don't even think the Pareto Principle really works here. But basically what it is is the more time you spend, you, you no, this isn't the Pareto Principle. I'm sorry, I got ahead of myself. So it, it's, it's like a balance, right? In order for two plus, in order for the A plus B to equal C, A and B, or, or better yet, let's say, let's say A plus B equals C, right? Let's say C is 10. And 10 is the total units of money and or time, money, M, or T time, that you have to use in order to accomplish the end result, which is 10. If you put 5 and 5, you spend half money, you spend half time, you balance out what you're going to do. That's probably your average player. And the average player then takes... Whoops, no, no. Oh, good, I didn't steal their target. And then the average player... You know, they depot their $5, they play their $5. They depot their $5, and they gain skills from that, right? Or they depot their $5, they get the, the passive income generators, and then they use that money to get their skills. Also a wise decision. Perhaps theoretically wiser than doing it the old-fashioned way. Just like, I sweat the, the mob dry, and then I shot it to death. I got the loot, plus I got all the sweat that I can then turn around and sell. As much time as I spend out here, I probably should be doing this a lot more often, even though it takes forever, because it's a lot more... Because I'm using the time anyway, if I'm going to be playing like this, I'm generally, you know, I've, I'm watching Star Trek. Okay, not going to lie, that's what I do. I watch Star Trek, I play Entropia Universe. It, it's what I do. Um, but I'm trading that time. And that skill gain. In order to not spend money if I'm sweating. And I've gone, I've spent months doing nothing but sweating mobs. I've gone to Club Royal and spent months when I'm not recording and done nothing but sweat mobs. And actually, the sweat circles are a great community. So if you decide to play that way, it's a great opportunity to meet a lot of really cool people. Club Royal's a great place. Um, the people down here sweating Panleon seem pretty cool. They're not very talkative, um, which is fine. You know, sometimes you want it to be quiet. Oh, looks like this one is dry already. So, yeah. That is... The gist is that in order for... If you, if you want to reduce the amount of money, M, you have to increase the T so that it comes out to 10, your end result. If you want to, if you want to decrease the time, you got to increase the money. It works like this in real life, too. This isn't just an Entropia Universe thing. This is literally how business works. This is how investments work. That This is basically how all economics work. You can either trade time or you can trade money. People who spend time sweating are trading time rather than money. People who depot trade money instead of the extra time that simple I will say this if you're going to sweat swanting is probably the way to go because you get okay if you're trying to do strict free-to-play swanting is gonna be harder you're gonna have to do some regular sweating at first and then you can swant later after you get some money under your belt right and in fact the way you could do that is spend a good amount of time sweating at first you sell the sweat you buy shares you use the money from the shares to buy the ammo to swunt. And then you're killing... Sorry, there's this freaking bug flying around my face. Um, and then... Why is it I can't hold aggro on these mobs? This is starting to annoy me. It's like every time someone runs by me... They grab aggro for no reason. It's like, dude... You're my target. Pay attention to me. Feeling put out here. 
Um, so yeah, that is time is money. Uh, other free to play things. The, the other things you can do here for free is basically socialize. And that's not a bad thing. Entropia is a great platform. It's a great place to learn new things and meet people. But when it comes to actually doing things, you're going to have to trade time or money in order to be able to afford to do it just like you do in real life. And, and here's the thing. This is what a lot of people, I think, don't get. So I say I keep banging on the time is money, right? That's the name of the episode, all of that. When you work a job, you trade time for dollars, right? People who have more money trade their time for more dollars. Alternatively, they'll put their money into something like inventory they turn around and sell. They're risking their dollars to make more dollars to reduce the amount of time. So they're putting in more dollars to trade that time for higher total dollars. This is why business owners can make more money than wage workers. Um, this is why salespeople who earn commission get uh, can oftentimes make more than someone who works for a straight wage because they control what time, how, how impactful their time is. Now, I'm not saying that everyone needs to be a salesperson. That is not an easy job. It's not. How do I know this? I do the job. Um, and I would say I'm probably an I'm probably average at it. Okay? I'm not great. I'm not terrible. I certainly make enough commission to pay my bills and slowly reduce my debt. But it's not like I'm, I'm rich, right? I'm not rich by any stretch of the imagination. Working on it. But because of that, I'm able to spend my time in more impactful ways to make my time more efficient. See how that works? Thusly, in Entropia, you want to do the same thing. How do you do that? Well, you do some of the things where you do use put a little money outlay, and then in exchange, you can spend less time doing the things to earn the ped you use in order to do the things you like to do, like to do in the game. And that's what we'll be getting into the next time, I do believe. Next time, oh, we'll be getting into the big three the next time, but we will be getting into that later on in the series. So, in the meantime, thank you for watching, thank you for listening. Please like, share, and subscribe down below. We are on the road to 13 million subscribers, one subscription at a time, so make sure you subscribe. Also, please consider going to patreon.com slash McMahon if you would like to support my work. If you do, you will get a copy of The Modern Entropian for download, and you will also get personal finance for gamers, which, even if you're not a gamer... All the information's there. I just make a few gaming, actually quite a few gaming pop culture references. Uh, in the meantime, I also want to thank my patrons, Red Kryptonite, Jason Lambertson, and Spectrum3900 for supporting me and providing me the means to continue my work. And I want to thank all of you for continuing to watch my channel, and we will see you in the next one.